seven valleys of meditation or seven valleys of sufis part three the first is the valley of knowledge there are always two things i am speaking to you where the words are emerging from words emerge from the control of language vocabulary but that is not enough you can take the same words will that have meaning there is a force behind the words that is subtle and important that force behind the words comes from inner growth development blossoming inner life when in 1883 a monk unknown went from india to the shores of the west to attend the parliament of religions he was not even the official representative of hinduism he had no credentials the date for the registration in the parliament of religions had expired he had no not enough money or clothes to face the winter in in chicago he landed up in boston there he met professor john wright he was very much impressed by his presence he gave him a letter to introduce him to the president of the parliament of religions for his registration on reaching chicago he realized that the paper has lost the address is lost he met a couple it was cold a couple was passing this monk spent his time somehow by the roadside the couple said are you not feeling cold when everything is freezing he responded what about your nose why is not your nose freezing it is also exposed the couple realized this man has something unique that was his address he was registered into parliament of religions when the chance came for him to speak he assumed the name of swami vivekananda he said he will speak in the last again there were clergy and all and it has already been decided that there is nothing in hinduism if you want to attain salvation you have to embrace christianity the resolution had been passed it was just a formality then vivekananda second time when his name was called it was said that this is the last opportunity for you to speak is to the with a turban on his head putting on a unique clothes he addressed the crowd five words he spoke the entire hall continued to echo with clapping for two minutes my sisters and brothers of america my sisters and brothers of america five very ordinary words he spoke my sisters and brothers of america and there was a non stop clapping thunderous applause for two minutes that continued was there anything in those words or the force that this monk was carrying out of his own inner growth meditativeness he could have said my brothers and sisters of america but you remember the feminine energy is most sublime and important feminine energy is compassion it is love anything that has to be created it has to begin with the feminine energy of love compassion care and once you develop that energy within everything becomes easy he used the word my sisters first there are two things comes the words words are important they carry the inner strength the force that comes from the individual growth valley of knowledge implies that your focus should be on that force i am speaking to you these are ordinary words there is nothing so special about any of these words but what is so unique about is the gaps that are created between the words the intonation the modulation the silence that these words create within you all that matters and if you are lost in the words that i am using you are lost in the valley of knowledge if your focus goes on to the silence that these words are creating if your focus goes on to the the effect that these words are creating then you have really understood the valley of knowledge and you have transcended valley of knowledge means you are more attuned to the silence that is being created when a sheikh when an enlightened master speaks he uses words as means 
you will know it very well when you have to go to a function you need a vehicle vehicle takes you from one place to another it transports you from your abode where you are to the abode where you have to reach this is a vehicle when you want to go from the abode of your residence to the place where the function is taking place you ride in the vehicle it is a means to take you from one destination to another so to words grammar language are all the vehicles put together just as car is a composite unit of various parts various mechanisms it uses a fuel there is a fuel tank there is a steering to steer you to steer the vehicle to the direction that you want process of acceleration the process of braking system a well equipped body for you to sit down comfortably all these put together is known as a wheel when a sheikh uses the words the language the grammar the form the vehicle for transformation the vehicle of transformation the vehicle of transcend the talks of a sheikh are nothing else but the vehicle of transformation a vehicle for transcend you ride the vehicle it takes you on to the right it drives takes you on the voyage and focus will be not on the words instead all the silence that it creates the light the energy that it reflects then you have crossed over the valley of knowledge and you have reached the peak that comes after the valley of knowledge when my journey began in this life it began with silence there was no words communicated simply utter silence and that too of a precise moment but that moment extended to 2 3 hours i was 8 months of age i used to sleep with my grandfather naqshbandi sheikh sufi brij mohan lal razi allah taala he had instructed my mother to remove me from his bed before 3 o'clock on a particular morning when he realized that his time of leaving the world has come purpose of my visit to this world has to attain a direction he chose that hour my mother fell asleep and he went into the meditation i remained on his bed and in that silence all that was necessary was communicated i remained unconscious until 8 o'clock when he got up from his meditation he acted a scene of anger towards the negligence of my mother that it is because of her negligence i remained on the bed while he has already instructed her to remove me from the bed my mother felt bad but that is plan that is the way of the master they do not want people to know their techniques and ways and means how they continue the crew some of you who had been in the physical communion with me when they have complaint of their problems simple things were told but you followed very religiously and as you followed intensely the results are in front of you the depth of your being that you all have attained it is a unique way of masters be it sufi masters be it zen all these are in one word awakened ones a simple glance of the awakened one shows the seed of awakening just as when you are in love you look towards your beloved the eyes speak so in meditation the eyes are transformed there is innocence the innocence which is the insignia of a child or a cow insignia of innocence that innocence speaks through silence gestures a look a glance of the beloved says more than what the words can ever say and with that force emanating from within the words love becomes meaningful it becomes like fire from the beam the words of fire that has capacity to burn all that is superficial and only the essential remain the fire of the beam the essence from time to time when i post 
something on the Facebook page. There are people who ritualistically go and like things. It takes nothing whether they read it or not, whether it becomes part of their understanding and then behavior. It's a different story. And then they go on sharing. Unless what you have heard becomes part of you, it is not going to generate that energy, that force that is needed to bring about transformation. You know we do, there is an actor who has to enact the scene of being pregnant. Nothing has taken place within. She dresses up like a pregnant person, walks, talks, every gesture is of that pregnant person. But she cannot deliver the baby. All that would have been fake because no change has taken place in the anatomy and physiology of that person. When these words are allowed to sink into you, in the environment of silence that has been created, then these words create a magnetic force in you. When you speak the same word, it is the force that comes. When Swami Vivekananda was continuing to speak, after that it was published in New York Times after listening to Swami Vivekananda. We have come to this conclusion how foolish it is to send missionaries to such a learned nation. Then Margaret Noble, who came to be known as in the later part of her life as Sister Nivedita, she asked Swamiji when he was speaking in Parliament of Religions, it appeared as if light emanating out of your being. If you had asked us to do anything at that time, I would have done that. And then they asked also, what was so unique that Krishna was playing the flute? And the, the cowherd ladies, the women, the gopis, used to leave everything and come and dance with Krishna. What was so unique about that? I can't understand because Western mind, specifically that soaked in Christian thinking, cannot understand that. Vivekanan had the unique way, like any other enlightened master, to speak with an example. One day he was continuing to speak on the platform. All of a sudden he stopped speaking and ran from there. He ran nearly about a hundred meters. The crowd followed. When the crowd followed, he stopped and then he stopped and addressed the crowd. Why are you following me? He said, what you had been saying is so magnetic that we cannot stop but continue to listen to what you are saying. You have started saying something and then you left us without completing the message. We were so overwhelmed by the beginning that we could not resist. He said, this is what used to happen between Krishna's and the Milkmaids, Gopis. A practical example, when Sister Nivedita asked Margaret Noble, as she was known then, Swamiji, when he was speaking in the Parliament of Religions, it appeared as if rays of light was emitting out of his body. And we were so engulfed in that, as if we were drowning in that light. Vivekananda said, when I was speaking in the Parliament of Religions, the words were mine, the voice was mine. Sometimes even the punctuation was mine, but the force behind my voice was of that haggard man. That haggard man, Ram Krishna Paramahans, my master. This is the essence. Who is the master? Your being. When the force emanates from your being, it has a magnetic effect. It is like light emitting and that is engulfing the entire cosmos. Everything seems to be dancing, your heart, your mind, your body, everything is dancing in that. This is the essence of the value of knowledge. Very little is given, value of knowledge. How to differentiate between the two aspects of it, the positive and the negative. That which is the force, that which is unheard, is the positive. Buddha one day came to the podium. He had a flower in his hand. He sh showed the flower to everyone. Every monk was surprised. Many thoughts were going on within. What is this? Why did Buddha did this gesture today? He come with a flower and he did not say anything. Just a lotus flower in his hand. Buddha looked at everyone. And not only looked at everyone, but looked at the being of everyone. Only Mahakashyap, when Buddha looked towards him, he smiled. He handed over the flower to, to Mahakashyap. Then Anand asked, 
that was a unique sermon and that is came to be known as flower discourse buddha said all that could have been said i have spoken to the monk and that which could not be said i hand it over to mahakashya i hand it over to mahakashya that was the beginning of zen buddhism these are the two aspects of the valley of knowledge the force behind the words and the actual word the vehicle that transports the that force that light and the actual vehicle your emphasis should be from the words to the force if your emphasis remains on the words then you are lost in the valley of knowledge but if your focus moves from the words to the energy to the force to the light that these words reflect that the silence the tranquility these words create within you the ripples of silence that these words create within you then you have crossed the valley of knowledge it is a time for great celebration after each valley there is a celebration and you reach to the